Hello, Cancer. It's October, which means that the veil is thin. And so we are doing spooky tarot all month for October. So I'm sorry I have been MIA. <laughs> I apologize. I left my camera stand at my mom's house when I went to visit her and to spend time with her when she had her surgery. And so it has been a bit difficult for me to film, but I am a boss. And so I do what I gotta do to get through and above and beyond, right? So <clears throat> I, I'm filming on the floor, I'm on the floor. But I still have my tarot table here. I have my light set up, like, we do what we gotta do, right? The show must go on, and I am running and directing this show, so it, it will go on. All right, um, so I've already cleansed my space, and I've already meditated, and I am a clear vessel for source messages. So let's go ahead and do your love reading for October, okay? All right, as you know, during October, I love, love, love. <laughs> I love October. It's my favorite month because we get to do spooky tarot. So we are going to use my spooky tarot deck. And let me just go ahead and clear this energy. We are reading now for Cancer. Just dive right in cancer <clears throat> so this is going to be a general love reading it is not a twin flame reading just a general love reading so keep that in mind it won't resonate with everyone but it'll resonate with someone all right cancer I just figured it was a perfect time to read for the signs because I just read for a client and so I've read for Taurus and Gemini and your next Cancer. So whoa, okay, Cancer. So we have the Ten of Pentacles. Is it ten? No, it's nine. Not quite sure how this plays in yet, so I'm gonna draw another card. Yeah. One second. Hey, baby. Okay, sorry about that, Cancer. It's funny, I unpaused it right at 303. All right, so let's see how this is now playing. But first of all, I see that you are right now in this beautiful energy of manifesting and drawing in everything that you want right now, Cancer. Everything you, that you want in life, but not just in life, also in love, right? Whatever you're doing, it's working, is what I heard. I don't know why I shuffled again, that's weird. Oh, something flipped, but it didn't come out. So I'm not going to take it unless it comes out again. Whoa. Whatever it is that you're working towards right now, whatever it is in life or in love, okay? Whatever it is that you're working on right now, I see it coming. I see it coming into your reality. That really big thing that you're trying to manifest in regards to love, it's coming in. But not just that, with it is going to come lots of other beautiful things attached to this one thing that you're trying to manifest in love. I'm not sure how that is going to make sense to someone, but it will. We have the Ace of Wands, which means... Not only that, this person that you are dealing with, Cancer, they are very sexual, okay? So the Ace of Wands, whenever it comes up in a love reading, it always represents like 
<laughs> I don't want to say this without, like, I don't want to get in trouble with YouTube. Um, it's, it's phallic energy. So it's the energy of, you know, phallic. Pee pee. <laughs> I'm trying to use code words so I don't get in trouble with YouTube. So this person is very sexual, whether it's male or female, they are very, 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 very sexually attracted to you, Cancer. Very, very sexually attracted to you. Yeah. One second. Okay, sorry about that, Cancer. Oh my goodness, one second. I'm so sorry about that cancer. There's so many interruptions in your reading. That's a good thing. Um, I paused it. It was 555. So now it's 606. So there's all the number codes. They come in for a reason. But yeah, so it looks like this person is holding a, their member in their hand. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. It's a lot of sexual energy so with all due respect I'm going to back out from that energy <laughs> Oof. see that's exactly why I had to back out from that energy I don't know how many more readings I can do because I am on the floor so we have the world This means that um, something is coming along full circle. So, for example, and this is just an example, so don't take it literal, because I know some of you probably will. You you met someone in the past, um, say, like someone from high school that you had a, or, you know, in your 20s, whatever, a brief thing with and then it doesn't work out and you guys go your separate ways right and then you know you are having coffee at a coffee shop and this person walks in and you recognize them and you start talking you have a conversation right and then they ask you out and you guys go out to dinner and you pick up where you left off right it's something coming back completely full circle so where maybe in the past, this person in your past, you know, you had a thing, it didn't work out, they rejected you, whatever. Now all of a sudden they come back around and you guys are both in the right frequency to actually pick up where you left off. So it would be like something that wasn't yours. And I'm not saying that, you know, people are possessions. I'm just speaking in, you know, a general sense of terms, right? Something that you wanted that wasn't yours, all of a sudden it comes back around and now it's yours. It comes back around, full circle, right? That makes sense. The lessons have been learned and it's the end of a cycle. Karmic lessons are closing for you, Cancer. Wow, this new person or this old person, whoever you're dealing with, whether old or new, this is an equal give and take of energy. They, whatever you give out to them energy-wise and love-wise, they will return it boomerang, okay? There is a lot of sexual tension between you and this person. Can I just say that? It keeps coming out. I see this person lying on a rug, a floor, and they're looking up at you. I'm not going to go into any more detail than that, but so, ooh, there's just a lot of cards that they threw out for you, Cancer. Oof. Okay, so we had the Hanged Man, Strength, Ten of Cups, Page of Wands. So 
there was a period where there was nothing going on between you and this person. There was a period where there was no growth. There was no movement, no messages, nothing. I am so sorry. My cat is going crazy out there. And now, for whatever reason, um, this person is finding the strength to make they, their way back to you. They went through a lot, a lot of, of things in their life. But here's the thing. They realized that they wanted to choose you as their happy ending. They could see the future with you, this person, Cancer. And there's been a lot of growth, right? We have the Page of Cups. My, my light just died. I'm so sorry. So I was wondering why it was getting dim. All right, so there's been a lot of growth and this person has went through a lot of lessons to get here, to get to you, to get on the same frequency and energy as you, Cancer, right? But they see you as their Ten of Cups. They see their future clearly and the choice that they made is the choice to get um, with you, right? See, those are all the cards. There's the no movement, which is um, the hanged man. They've also learned a lot. I feel like they've went through way more like enlightenment lessons, right? Um, we have the Ten of Cups. We have the Page of Wands, which is the card of growth. And we have Strength, which is the Leo Energy card. Okay, so we're moving right along from that. Um, let's pull a numerology card for you because I don't want this reading to get super long because I am still going to try to read for Leo even though my light died <laughs> we plow through no matter what right all right what else does cancer need to know also my phone is dying so we'll see if I even have enough um battery to read for Leo where is my phone at right now let's see oh it's at 32 percent it's gonna be cutting pretty close all right what else? Message for Cancer. Cancer. What do they need to know? Eighty-one leadership. So you're stepping into another role, another. I almost said dimension, <laughs> but there are no accidents. So we'll go ahead and roll with that. Another dimension, another timeline. Your greatest timeline, Cancer, is what you're stepping into right now. And it is requiring of you to be in a position of leadership. I see people coming to you for advice. I see... Um, people being mesmerized and hung up on your words and looking to you for guidance. I see crowds and crowds of people. <clears throat> this is number 81, which is also nine when you add it up, which again is what I was saying earlier, which, you know, it is the end of a cycle. Nine is coming towards the end of a cycle and then 10 is a new beginning right so nine is closing out the cycle and 10 is starting the new cycle or the new journey right all right so i'm going to get a music oracle card for you i got this deck from my friend stephanie for my birthday so shout out to Stephanie. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for creating this beautiful friendship for us to share. Okay. Final card for Cancer. Now these cards have the message right on the front of the card. So it makes it very simple and clear and easy. To decipher the message. Final card for cancer. Oh my goodness. I just posted this 
on my community post if you follow me on um youtube you will you will notice that on my community tab i do um songs that are channeled from the divine masculine and songs that are channeled also from the divine feminine for um the counterparts uh, twin flames and this was the one of the songs that was channeled for either the masculine or feminine, I can't remember, but it is Ravi Shankar. And it says, always read and play between the lines. Always read and play between the lines. Did you hear that, Cancer? Your true nature is reflected in silence. Music is the infinite space between two souls. So you might be hearing songs um, that resonate with you and your person, songs that you guys will hear together collectively as one soul, right? Because we're all connected, all of us, every, every single one of us, right? We're all connected. But most importantly, you will hear songs that mean something to you that you know also means something to your person. Like you guys might be hearing the same songs, right? Um, or songs that you shared together or things of that nature. So I hope that something resonated in this reading for you, Cancer. And if it did, please, oh my gosh, this, this camera angle is not where it's at, folks. If something resonated with you, please like and subscribe. It's absolutely free for you, Cancer. Um, if you want to book a reading with me, the link will be in the pinned comment, right? In the comment section and also in the description box below my video. I love you so fiercely, Cancer.